guys, just a quick video tutorial on how to make one of these little uh, flamethrower gadgets that go on the side of the Mandalorian's gauntlet. Uh, this is all made out of aluminum and uh, metal beads. Um, all of these parts can be gotten at Hobby Lobby. Um, they have a number of these metal rods like this and what you're going to need is three different sizes. Um, one is a solid aluminum piece. Another one is a small tube like this that that fits just inside of. And then another tube that that fits inside of. So you have three different sizes of pieces. What you want to do is you want to, oh, and the other thing is, is you're going to need some beads that are like this, and then also some beads that look like this. Um, you're going to have three of those beads, and then you're going to take the bead that looks like this, and you're gonna cut it in half with a Dremel tool, and it will then, you'll get two pieces like that. What you're gonna do is take your Dremel tool and cut your tubes into pieces about this length, and a couple little tiny ones like that. Cuts really easy, it's basically, it's a soft aluminum. So the first thing you do is you take this piece, and we're gonna take our longer piece, and we're gonna put that on here. Now, if you find that it's hard to go on there, you can actually take an X-Acto knife and just kind of run it around the edge like that, and it'll kind of deburr the end. It's gotten kind of bent a little bit, so I've gotta kind of work it on there. They do fit tight, so, and this aluminum is actually very soft, so it's easy to get it bent, and then it's hard to get the tube on there. Twist that a little bit. Get it like that. The next thing we want to do is we want to put, take one of the, our little half of our bead, and you're going to point it in the small end down. Oh, you know what? I forgot. That actually goes, needs to go on this end. So we're going to put that on here. Bend that back. There we go. So it looks like that. And then we slip three of these beads over the top of that. So it looks like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of let those kind of come down a little bit. I'm gonna get some super glue. So you get the get it kind of low here on my bottle. Come on. I think it's about time to get some more super glue. Ah, I think we got sealed off there. Open that up. There we go. Just a little drop of CA glue there. Goes back over the top of it. I use a little activator here. Get those all in place. So it's just like that. Didn't get any enough there. Let's there we go. So it looks like 
just like that. Then we take our tube that fits over the top of that one, slide it on top, and go over the top of there, bring it up to that point. And I'm going to just take and put a little bit of CA glue on there, and kind of twist it, and bring that up against that as well. So it looks like that. Our step down there. Now the other, we take the other half of this piece, we flip it around the other direction. I'm going to bring that up to there. And again, I'm going to put just a little bit of CA glue on there. I'll spin that, get that around there. We'll let that. So now it looks like that. Now we've got two tiny little pieces of this of the tube. We have to I'll put those on there for the tip. Let's see, they're going to go in there just like that. pieces of looking like. And again, I'm just going to put a little dab of CA glue in there. Now, the last piece is this little piece underneath. And what I've got is I've got a piece of that tube that I'm going to take and get a pair of pliers and I'm just going to smash it. Just like that. And then on the top part of it, I'm going to get a piece of sandpaper. And I'm just going to kind of sand that to kind of flatten, give me a flat spot there. That I can glue to. So then I'm gonna take my CA glue and I'm gonna put a little bit on there. By the way, this is this thick or, or medium CA glue. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of that on there. And then hold those together. Not quite long enough. holes. Now what I want to do, boom, it come apart there, so I need a little bit more. Let's try this again. Hold those together. There we go. Now I should have left that off. Now once I've done that, I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to add just a little bit more glue on the sides. Hit that with a little bit of activator. Kind of stuck there. A little bit on this side. Kind of make that look like a weld joint in there. And hit that. Now basically, at this point, this is done. But what I'm going to show you is real fast is how we take this and how we paint it. So we're going to go over here to the our paint table through all the mess. And this is my painting table. What you want to do is have a little paper towel ready. And I'm using a black camouflage paint, some flat black, and I'm just hitting it with black. And then I take this and I just kind of blot it to lift up some of the, the paint, to leave the paint down into the, in the cracks. And there we go, now it looks like it's kind of been burned and weathered. And that's ready to go 
let that dry and it's ready to go onto our piece. Now I get to go and uh, use some acetone and take off all the paint off my fingers. Probably best to have gloves, but there we go. Um, you can find out this and other things. We have lots of parts and stuff on PlasticArmsDealer.com for the Mandalorians, Death Troopers, and Mud Troopers.